Hey what's up guys, today I have a quick effects video for you demonstrating the atomic particle system that was introduced in HitFilm 2. Now this isn't a full episode of VFX Studio, instead I'm just going over the particle system and some things that can be done with it. So to create your own atomic particles, first create a plane and a point. Make only the point 3D. Under particle placement position, set the transform from to the point you created. This makes the particles truly 3D. Under number of particles, adjust the X, Y, and Z to your liking. The scale twist feature is cool to play around with, and under particle appearance are options for making the dots look how you want. Disperse adjusts how far apart the dots are. Fractal creates a random wobbly effect that moves as the plane moves. If you need to adjust the position or rotation of the plane, change the points properties. In displacement and size, you can choose a picture for your particles to form into, as I have done here with the VFX Studio logo. Spherical Warp creates a circle warp that can be adjusted to be positive or negative. Audio Interaction makes it so that different factors of the particles, such as opacity, warp, size, and fractal, are affected by music that you put in. To set the interaction, drag an audio clip into the timeline and go to Audio Layer and choose the Sound Layer. I'll get a demonstration of this up later. Depth of Field applies if the camera is close up to the particles. Turning it on blurs a part of the field. Now remember that you can set the Z option to more than one if you want multiple layers of particles. For color, you can add a 4 point color gradient and customize it. Play around with atomic particles and you're sure to get some really cool looking things. Thanks a lot for watching. If you have any other questions about HitFilm 2, leave them below. Check out my channel for other HitFilm tutorials, and I'll see you guys in the next video.